As I explained in my previous video about the quicksort, partitioning a list into three sublists is a fundamental aspect of the algorithm. The list is partitioned repeatedly until all partitions contain only one item. In this video, I'm going to talk about an alternative way to partition an unordered list. The first quicksort algorithm I described relies on the selection of a pivot value. The leftmost item in the list is chosen to be a pivot, then items at the left and right pointers are compared with it and data is moved accordingly. Once the pivot has found its correct position in a sublist of one item, the partitioning process is then repeated with the two unordered sublists on either side of it. The partitioning of sublists continues until finally we have sublists containing only one item each and all of the sublists are in the correct place. In this alternative method, we still have a left and a right pointer, but we are not explicitly nominating a pivot value. The principle is to compare items at the pointers and, if necessary, swap them, so that the smaller of the two items is at the left pointer and the larger of the two is at the right pointer. To begin with, the left pointer is advancing towards the right pointer. We see that 5 is less than 8, so there's no need to do a swap, we simply advance the left pointer. 2 is less than 8, so again, no need to do a swap, we just advance the left pointer. 7 is less than 8, no swap, just advance the pointer. 6 is less than 8, same again, just advance the pointer. And again, 1 is less than 8. Nothing to do except advance the pointer. Now we see that 9 is greater than 8, so we're going to swap the two values around. The smaller value is at the left pointer and the larger value is at the right pointer. And because we've just done a swap, we start advancing the right pointer. Same again, 4 is less than 8, so we need to do a swap and then the left pointer can advance. But at this stage the pointers collide, so the partitioning process is completed. We now have a sublist of one item, the value 8, and a sublist on the left of it, where all of the items are smaller than 8, and a sublist on the right of it, where all the values are bigger than 8, in this case there's only one item. Let's see that process again with a different set of data to start with, just so we can be clear about what's going on. Remember, the left pointer is advancing. 5 is less than 8, so we need to do a swap. And then the right pointer advances. 4 is less than 5, so we need to do a swap. And now the left pointer can advance. 2 is less than 5, nothing to do except to advance the left pointer. 5 is less than 7, we need to do a swap. And we change the pointer which is advancing. 5 is less than 9, so there's nothing to do except to advance the right pointer. 1 is less than 5, we need to do a swap. And then we advance the left pointer. Finally, 5 is less than 6, so another swap is in order and the right pointer advances. The pointers collide at this point, so the number 5 has found its correct position, and we have a sublist on either side of it, which still needs to be dealt with. You might have noticed, with both of the unordered lists that we partitioned using this method, it was the value that started at the right-hand side of the list that ultimately found itself in the correct position. In other words, although we're not explicit about it, the rightmost value is actually the pivot when we use this method to partition a list. Now we have an alternative method of partitioning a list, this too could form the basis of a quicksort. We just need to repeat the process with all of the sublists that we generate that contain more than one item. Let's take a look at some pseudocode. We have a loop which will run until the pointers collide. 
Now we have a loop here where we're advancing the left pointer as long as the data at the left pointer is less than the data at the right pointer and of course the pointers are different. This continues until such time as the data at the left pointer is no longer smaller than the data at the right pointer and we need to swap the data around. We're just using a temporary variable to effect the swap. Once that's happened we start advancing the right pointer and the right pointer continues to advance until such time as the data at the left pointer needs to be moved to the other side. Which is what happens here. When the pointers eventually collide we drop out of the loop. To turn this into a quick sort, all we need to do is repeat this partitioning process for all of the lists containing more than one item. We'll see how to do that in the next video.